Alrighty, YouTube, welcome in to a new playthrough. We're going to be playing some Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls, another episode, however you want to order that and stuff. Um, just a quick uh, disclaimer. If you guys don't know the Danganronpa series, uh, do me a favor, exit out of this video and go educate yourself on it via either watch the anime if you don't care to play the video games or watch somebody else's playthrough of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc and then you can check out my playthrough I just finished up of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair here on my YouTube channel but educate yourself on those games before watching this playthrough because if you watch this you're gonna get spoiled on those massively and it'll like ruin those games because they're visual novels so they're very big on like the plot twist and the story development and everything. Once you know it, it's kind of like, eh, you know. So, do me a favor. If you need to, go pause this video. You know, come back to it once you check out the storyline and figure out what's going on and everything. Because there's no way we're going to get through this game without major spoilers for those games. For the first two. So, and I, what I highly suggest, though, is either play the games yourself, which they are available on... Game Pass right now. You got Danganronpa 1, Trigger Happy Havoc Anniversary Edition. You got Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair Anniversary Edition. And they just added Danganronpa V3 like last week on Game Pass. So if I highly suggest play the games yourself. They're really fun and interesting. Even if you're not big on like visual novels, they're still a good time. Um, especially with like just the story and character development and everything. So uh, if not, Definitely go check out uh, a Let's Play. You know, I highly suggest uh, ProZD plays games. Um, his playthrough with Jay is very entertaining. They do different voices and stuff like that. Uh, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Spare, I did a playthrough of that as well. Like I said, on my YouTube channel. But that being said, let's get on to it. This new playthrough. I uh, appreciate you being here watching this. Uh, I'm sorry it's very long-winded, but I have to get that little disclaimer out there. So, Ultra Spare Girls. Uh, what I know about it is not a whole lot, which is the good thing, I guess. All I know is it's a third-person shooter game versus being like the visual novel uh, like uh, the first games were. And I'm pretty sure it takes place after Danganronpa 2. I know it released then. I think story-wise it's placed then or maybe about the same time or something. Um, other than that, I know that uh, your main character's character, uh, you have Na uh, Nagito, or Nagito, geez, uh, Makoto Naegi's uh, sister. I forget what her name is. She's the main character. And then uh, Toko from the first game is in this. They team up. So that's like all I know. So with that being said, let's get into it. Um, hopefully the audio is okay. I'm playing this on PC. I normally don't play on PC. If you guys know me, I'm more of an Xbox person. So this is kind of um, a weird setup for me, which is funny because it's not a hard setup, but it's with my audio and everything like that. It's it's different for me. So I apologize if the audio sounds too loud or it's too quiet or something. Uh, after this playthrough, I'll double check it. And if something seems off, I'll, I'll make sure for next time it's better. Uh, but I did a quick little test run and it sounded okay before I started. But who knows, like once they start talking or action starts happening, it might be really loud or really quiet. I don't know. Um, in fact, we might lower I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna be playing um, working hard for a normal girl mode, I guess, uh, Komaru mode, uh, because genocide mode is super ultra pump genocide jack mode for those who just wanna enjoy the story. And then ultra despair mode is like, I guess real hard. So we're just gonna do like the middle of the road. I normally play on like normal difficulty when I first play games, so. That's what we're going to do. Uh, also, they should be English voice voicing. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much of that they're actually going to be talking versus me reading. So uh, 
also real real fast one last thing sorry i know we're, i keep bringing up more shit uh i don't know how i'm gonna break this down just yet if it's gonna be like a chapter a video i know there's five chapters um and then there's this prologue start thing so i'm hoping we get through the prologue here and then either the rest of the playthrough we'll do like one video for each chapter or we might split it up in like two parts i don't know i don't know what these chapters entail so it's hard for me to say anyways first let's set up your camera uh auto camera will you automatically follow the character you're controlling Mail camera, you control the camera with the right stick. It can be changed in the options later on, so choose one like now. Uh, let's do auto, I guess. It's, I'm fresh this game. I didn't even do a test around this game. I just did a test recording. According to what I've heard, the world is round. But is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Uh. Common knowledge in what we take for granted. We base our lives on certain rocket. things. Well... Not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the earth or common knowledge. I'm pretty psyched because it's going to have a lot more anime cutscenes, I think. So small that it's actually a little funny. Pretty dope. This is my world. This two bedroom apartment that I live in is my world bedroom apartment my life doesn't extend beyond these walls what his sister was younger than Nagito. but it's not like i'm a shut-in or anything you're not nagito jesus christ i'm getting dong rapa too stuck in my head i am actually makoto imprisoned inside this room my name is komaru naegi Kamaru. i'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life Okay. I'm all about this anime. So that's good shit. Uh, I'll look into the subtitles here when I get a chance. I don't want to hit start. Right. It skips it. Let me out! Let me out of here! Hey! Jeez! You Ever since my imprisoned life began, this pointless defiance became my morning routine. But it was only at the beginning that I was seriously crying and yelling. What? It's been a year and a half it's since It's funny because the music's like remixed too. Can you believe it? A year and a half! So long that I've become completely used to this life. It's frightening how well humans can adapt. It's been there a year I've and a half. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. It's not like I've completely given up, of course. If it's I also had, reading a Junko I wouldn't do magazine. things like change my uniform every morning. Our magazine with Junko on it, I should say. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Huh? Jeez, it's finally breakfast! It's about time I'm starving! But anyway, about this whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprits. Not really face, much of communication, anyways. Voice interaction not communication i still don't even know why i'm imprisoned here but regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is this is my world and my daily life now so it can't be helped see sucks right 
My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> Huh. huh? A weird what? setup for her. What happened? Definitely not what I was expecting for a start here. Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? <laughs> Please save me! I'm trapped in here! I'm begging you! Please save me! <laughs> I don't want to live this life anymore! <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking Wolverine showing up. Oh. That's a big Monokuma. What the hell? Okay. Game? G game? Are we okay? The hell? Um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Wait, what? What's going on? Now I'm curious. Who trapped her in there? Ben. Oh my god, it's 3D still. Oh god, this camera. Feels so weird. Where's the elevator? Run. Why is there a fire? I can't get through. Sit point B. Okay. <laughs> That's a big Monokuma, like I said. A black and white bear? What should I do? What should I do? I mean, GTFO. That's what we're doing. Someone help me! So we were trapped here, but who trapped us here? The office is Monokuma's gonna kill us, it looks like. I wonder who's trapped us into feeding us. That's pretty funny. Hey, Biakia. Hey, shoot her in the face, why don't you? You must be Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Oh, shit. Also, I do know this game has got, like, achievements and stuff. Um, and I know there's collectibles, or at least I think there is. Uh... I'm not going to harp on like trying to find like all of them and stuff. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Huh? Oh, damn time though. I mean, place is on fire. Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. I wonder if anybody else was here or just her. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However, 
Also, the dialogue's here, like on screen text, but I don't know for those cutscenes what I can do, like subtitles or not. We'll, we'll see. What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear mm. thing back there, what a was riot. that? What's going on? <laughs> so you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Uh huh? Future Foundation. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This is a bunch of them. They're getting their ass kicked. What should I do? They came in ready and just got their ass should. stomped. Do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. They had Read to use the operation megaphone? instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Golly. But where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go. You're just in the way here. I like how he gave her the gun it was just like, just run. <laughs> Instead of like, help me fight him or anything. I really like the, um, the design of like, Dog and Rampa characters in general, just like the, the shading. And stuff it just always looks so good to me. Here it is. Pig boy. Huh? What is going on? Jeez. Who's, who's at the restaurant, I wonder? What? The fuck's going on? Welcome. A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Miss, now please! Call the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're just the other customers. Okay, what is going that? on? Hurry! All right, fine. Please uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of relax and stay calm. <sighs> Hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is <laughs> How would they not know all this shit was going on outside? What? What? No way! No way they knew all this shit wasn't going on out there. They would have seen, they would have heard the crashes and screaming and. I'm so confused on timeline of this now. Because obviously it's after Dog Rock 1. 
but it's. Is he fucking that guy? What should I do? Dude, fucking somebody at the table. But it's like she would have already been hitting the fan at the end of Don. You know, Dragon Rumble One. Peace, bros. Oh shit! Here we go. It's time for a tutorial. You press the left bumper or left trigger. Uh, you're ready. Your hack again. So basically, aim. Uh, right stick focuses. Okay. Right trigger with the gun. Fire your truth bullet. It's called truth bullet in this too? Huh. I'm going to fire my coat all over his face. Express or pressing the X button opens the truth bullet selection screen. Oh. What? Just detect, burn, move, paralyze, dance, knockback, break, link. Switch truth bullets with the directional pad. You can also switch truth bullets outside the menu with the directional buttons. By using the multicolored truth bullets against the Monokumas. So the rainbow one? This makes no sense. Okay, so it pauses it, looks like. Hacking, breakdown, pulsion, dance off, paralyze, activate, combustion, reveal. Why is this happening? Hacking. Oh, I'm controlling it now. What? a reason why I don't pick anything else. change my inversion what is going on i've got weird because i used to always play with uh inverted uh y controls so when you press down it looked up and stuff and vice versa but now it's like i've noticed i've started like kind of going back to normal like up is up and down's down for some games it's it's weird <laughs> Guys, dead. Who the fuck? Ba 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 bam! Ha ha! I'm a zombie. <laughs> I'm gonna eat ya! Oh no! Please don't eat me! Hey, Masaru. Do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know. Mm, who cares? Who the I fuck are these guys? Style important for this kind of thing. Didn't I 
I tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what Get are you horns. so mad about? Oh wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Uh, Stop that! Can you come over here? Also, I don't know how difficult this game's going to end up being later on. Citizens of Toa City, nice to meet you. We are the Warriors of Hope. We are the masters of Mr. Monokuma. Huh? This town, this dirty, lame, Worthless, pathetic, good-for-nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, Her all eyes of look you like adults will no longer be needed. Digital. Goodbye. Oh, so we're playing Children of the Corn. That's what we're playing. Didn't realize. Alka, where you at? Where you at, Ezekiel? He said somebody at the Future Foundation was at this restaurant. Where the fuck are they? Oh, theme song! Sounds a little different. Oh, we got different monokumas? Okay. Toko. You know, Toko was all right in the first game. I liked her in a way, but then sometimes not. Korokuma? Shiro Kuma. Shiro Kuma kind of reminds me of, um, what's her face? Sumi, kind of. So those are going to be our enemies. It's going to be a little bit for me to wrap my head around like how different this game's going to be. Prologue. The Warriors of Hope. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. Okay, so she's going to... But the school covered it up, so it was too late when the world finally realized... Okay. I'll let this play out and I may have some thoughts on this. They grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. Oh, there's Hope's Peak. I was like, where's Hope's Peak at? <laughs> it's like right above me. I'm kind of blocking out my face cam. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. Endless cycle, man. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. Yeah, I'd say seven of your classmates just died suspiciously. 
that that's a lot of red flags just saying but even then i kept telling myself it's all going to be fine don't be afraid but the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall a group of men i had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Okay. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. Okay, so that's what happened there. She got separated from her parents. Of course, Makoto was at school, locked up. So... I'm, I'm just trying to think in my head here. So how long were... See, because in my head, I thought what happened was... When shit hit the fan... You know, the, the students in... Uh, Dogonrampa 1... Were boarding up, locking themselves up and everything. And then that's when, basically, they... You know, got... Knocked out and stuff, and then they had their memories wiped back to where they started at, you know, school. So they didn't remember any of their school life. So I'm guessing when shit hit the fan, they were locking everything up is when this happened. She got taken. But it's like, that was only like, uh, like two weeks, three weeks is how long Dong and Rampa's storyline was. So where the fuck is you know the survivors from the killing school life? Oops. Where the fuck have they been for a, like a year basically? I was supposed to be a normal high school. The girl, timing of this didn't seem right. But instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper even worse there's no use in keeping hope that's what i was forced to realize once again <laughs> that one was carrying some hours back he's got him with a razor's edge or something why is this happening if i knew this was gonna happen i would have stayed in my room forever <laughs> They definitely made these Monokumas, like, creepy in this, which is kind of cool. You know? I gotta run. That's right. That Byakuya guy said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Yeah, what well, I said. Here. Supposed to be here. Also, it's kind of funny she's wearing this outfit, but the outfit she had in the video where she, like, supposedly got taken looks totally different. You think they would have kept the same? What's this guy? That suit. It's the same as that Biakia guys. Biakia guys. Uh, are you all right? Who? Who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? you know i i was told by a guy named byaki Tagami to meet you here could you be are you a captive G go to the park i mean i was a captive through this door and go straight down the road there should be a future foundation helicopter there hurry go i will say it's kind of a bummer like this guy just sit, sitting here it's like he seems like he's fine you know <laughs> there's no blood you know He's just chilling. But what about you? You go on ahead. I'm too busy taking a nap. <laughs> Hurry. What was that? Get out of here. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bitch, you had a gun. Hey, i I'll take you all on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Literally, she had a gun. We know it works. 
We just killed like seven of those motherfuckers. Why not help him? The town. It's in ruins. Okay. Dad! Mom! Makoto! The town looks really weird back there. I'm guessing I probably could have shoot them, but I don't know. They'll be in a weird side hey. stroll I didn't think it would. Are you people from Future Foundation? Hmm? Um, this guy called Byaku Yatagami said that you guys could rescue me. <laughs> What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. Huh. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? This is such... I'm not, I'm not going to harp on this game too much because it was originally, a, I think, a PS... Well, it's, I think a PS4 game and a... PS Via game originally, I think, but it's just like it's so weird to see the 3D aspect of this, and it just it looks and feels weird. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get over it. I'm just trying to focus on the gameplay. He he told me to run, so I I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Tagami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there. Please, you have to go save him. Understood. I'll go back for him. He already did. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything. I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. It sounds like Yakia yeah, already. <laughs> we're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh god, here we go again with that fucking statement. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that too. Hey, uh, viewers at home, um, or wherever you're watching this, want to start a drinking game? Every time they say that full phrase, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Take a shot. You're at two now. Keep track. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Wait a minute. Who the fuck <gasps> is that? Oh, and as for this town, is that Izuru? Are you all right? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. Okay, so we're on an island, we're not. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. That sounds like Bianca's voice. <laughs> He's filling in. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. 
But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. Now let's just say every time it says the incident, you gotta do a push-up. <laughs> push-up or a squat. Pick your pick. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? The music's good. The, the song right here does not fit with... The, Honestly, the even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city. That guy's voice sounds familiar. And that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And I'm... Um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. <laughs> They're all dead. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Is that... Singing? Oh God! Over there! <laughs> A kid? <laughs> oh shit! Get back! <laughs> <laughs> Jump your ass in there. Wait, where's the girl? Where's, where's the uh, Peace Foundation girl? Did, does she really that dumb that she forgets she has this gun that literally can destroy those things? Oh no. Dude, that's I thought that was really gonna be an execution thing. It's like she's dead already. What? I didn't even do anything. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Fuck no. Fuck no, dude. It better not be. You look completely exhausted. <laughs> Who, who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. Fuck! <laughs> I'm trying not to, like, I had heard scream this and holler safe. right now. So I came here to seek refuge. Baby sharks in the other room sleeping? Then, and I don't right. want Shark coming here and stab me to death on, like, on tape, so. Ah! What? 
as soon as he, as soon as I heard the voice, I was like, fuck no, dude, it's him. This is weird. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Notice he's got like a mitt on his hand. Either you truly are completely exhausted or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. Damn, she was knocked out for two days. Uh, that's that's a, a coma, homie. Two wasn't, days? Wasn't sleeping, that was a coma. A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. I have tons of fucking questions now. I, I think I'm mostly confused on the timeline of this, like where this falls now. Like just certain things aren't adding up to where they should be in the timeline, I feel like. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. What's up with the present over there? What's going to happen to me? <sighs> huh? Oh, apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly surprised him. don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. Fuck you, Nagito. Fuck you. So, that's why you pass. Golly. The only person that would have been worse in this situation is fucking Hyoko, I think. I hate, like, I couldn't stand Hyoko in Danganronpa 2. Like, I've been going back, like, doing the island mode. And doing her free time stuff and i'm just like she's such a miserable little bitch i hate her I hate her but this motherfucker is second place <laughs> what, what are you talking about well that is just my personal opinion it doesn't matter to them at all which means i'll need you to take a proper test a test ah but before that i'll return this to you The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit... too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Okay, that's why I only said the break thing, so I'm not going to be able to do the other stuff. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. So he's totally breaking the fourth wall here? Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. <laughs> Wait a minute, the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. What do you think? Did he... Didn't he say something about that in the second game? About giving everyone? somebody a test? See if they're normal or not? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. Like he's not going to mention shit? If you don't want to die, that is. 
I'll be going on ahead. It's weird to see him in a different outfit, honestly. What the heck? What is going on now? All right, let me see. Um. Options. Uh. Camera inverted there. Let's try that. Might that might be more comfortable for me? Um. Because right now the camera feels weird. Um. Okay. Is there anything else? I guess during the anime cutscenes, you can't do um, can't see your subtitles. That's kind of shitty. Well, I'll just for that. Interesting. So it actually has like a report card here of like the different people. Likes coffee and French. <laughs> Likes coffees, coffees and French. <laughs> Likes beautiful things, beautiful people. Dislikes no noisy places and ugly people. Plebeians. <laughs> microwave meals he dislikes. Okay. I'm surprised they give you that much information about Nagito here, you know. Interesting. We're level one. Yeah, it feels better already. So got the move. Our tutorial looks like you obtained move. Move is truthful. It's activate some machines with super power. Bird hacking, hacking match. <clears throat> Try it on the panel. The red light. Oh, and you probably remember, but you can press X to change ammo. Well, nice thing is, it doesn't seem like there's a. Um, move. I'm scared. It seems like there's not like a limit. You know what I mean? On the um, ammo. Well, maybe there is. It says 40 right there. They put some time into the hacking again. Let me tell you something. The red left eye is the weak point for Monokuma's. Oh. Really? Shoot the weak point with break. And most Monokuma's go down in one shot. Really? Plus, after you hit the weak spot, break ammo will give you one power shot. It's one hell of a shot, uh, one that's way stronger than a regular break. Now that's killing two birds with one stone. If you think you're so hot, why not try aiming for the weak point? Okay. So there is a limit. It says 35. I didn't catch that. There it is again. The gun. It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? Wait, did I just get 50 coins? I got 50 coins from that dude. I was thinking it was going to be like one. <laughs> I'm dead. Love it. That one looked bronze. That one looked gold. Fuck are we? Did I just get locked in? <laughs> Maybe I should try to move something again. Okay. Hey, got an achievement. It doesn't fucking matter to me because it's steam. <laughs> oh, so I can just hit the, the D pad. Cool. I'm glad I don't have to pull up the menu every fucking time.
Something about the movement feels weird, but like all Dongarampa games always felt weird, like you know, controlled the character. Seems like this game has a lot of like cutscenes dialogue versus like action shooting. From what I can tell. You, you're those kids. The kids who were on TV. Oh man. I'm famous. I'd autograph your uh. back anytime. <laughs> You're back. I can only write using a chisel, but if you don't mind that, I can sign your back too. We accept presents as well. I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, salty flavors are no good. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. Those psycho kids. Also, did she hide the, uh, the hacking gun behind her when she walked in this room? I don't think she did. Welcome, big sis. I'm so happy you came, meow. Did she just say meow? Did she just really say meow? Get the fuck out of um, here. Uh, oh, that's right. Big sis doesn't know us yet. I guess we should start with introductions. All right, let's start with me, the leader. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope, hero class Masaru Daimon. Masaru. I always give 100%. My favorite class was gym, so they called me Lil Ultimate PE. Aha, a hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate PE. I even impress myself. <laughs> You're far too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. I was, I was thinking, well, before the, the wheelchair lady girl showed up, I uh, thought the girl with the pink hair was the leader, honestly. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. All he did was win rock, paper, scissors. Oh, this 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 girl here she looks like somebody who who she look like like Kyoko and somebody else mixed together doesn't matter I'm still the leader I won so I'm the leader the leader seems like Leon's little brother or something fine fine you're the leader now allow me to introduce myself I am the sage, Nagisa Shingetsu. The I am the intro. vice leader of sorts. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. They're all going to be Little Ultimate? Really? That's what they're going to be? Okay. Huh? Hope's Peak? You mean that Hope's Peak? Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I, I... I didn't know there was an elementary school affiliated with the academy. <laughs> Such an ignorant woman. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Jotaro? Uh, wait. Before I go, Jotaro? can I practice introducing Kujo? myself? Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest. Jotaro Kamori. Priest? And you specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. Oh, you said what I was gonna say. The whole thing. I like this guy the most so far. That was a little group. Just saying. My chest itches. I wish I could scratch it raw. Reach inside and scrape my nails on it. Well, why don't you just lift your uh, sleeves up? Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. And also waiting for a plane takes too long and spring break is too long. Break's too long, really? Uh, um. Well, anyway.
anyway. Don't worry about Jatiro. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. Let me guess. She's the ultimate... Or little ultimate gossip girl. It's not that I dislike latchkey kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe. Oh, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Katoko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. I was called Little Ultimate Drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. I'll take it. I was close. I was close. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. Didn't she, didn't she say she hated salty things earlier? Okay. I guess chestnuts don't have to be salty. Typically they are, right? Yeah. Not crazy. Aren't you surprised? They're both chestnuts. Uh, um. <laughs> and hey, okay. did you know kangaroos can jump backwards? And, and, and believe it or not, snakes have ears. Ew! <laughs> Are we sure she's not like little ultimate, like, animal lover or something? Yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction. This guy's so fully done with her shit already. <laughs> I like him in a way, too. So she's not the leader. Monica is a mage. Monica. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the little ultimate homeroom. <laughs> little ultimate homeroom. What the fuck is that? I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom. Monica just loves homeroom. The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party! Uh, but... You are familiar with the Warriors of Hope. N no The Warriors of Hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. But nobody but really wants demons. me in the group. Oh. And I'm the Got party her. leader, which makes me the number one king of this town. Uh, um, you, you kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings. Joking around? I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this background. kind of stuff. I love that they took a lot of the original music and they kind of like remix it just a little bit to give a slightly different like sound to it. And that remix of the despair song there is like pretty fucking good. It's creepy. Just kids. Rumble. Huh? Aw, that's the only thing I can say. Just aw. Since you're an about to be, we were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Oh, shit. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our Monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Oh, so they control the Monokumas. Splattered! Like the sound of bloody chopped meat! <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages! <laughs> oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. All thanks to Monica's magic. Yeah, that's our mage. She can use magic even without magic circles. So she's like a hacker then. Or programmer. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Yeah! 
Monica's smile is so adorbs. Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up. N no! Stop it. Stop? Which part? If what you're saying is true, please stop all of this. The Jotaro guy, like, it is like a little baby, uh, leather face, kind of, with his outfit and stuff. We will not. We will never stop until kind of mankind we our paradise. Kind mankind, too. I dig it. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made up children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids. You know... Okay, so, quick little rant here. That's, that logic and angle and stuff is is neat concept and stuff but it's also really fucking stupid if you think about it because eventually the kids are going to grow up and be adults so it's like they're literally forfeiting their own life to have fun today to not have a future basically it's so stupid you know but you're chilling in the corner it was like oh once you turn 16 or whatever you're adult like you sacrifice yourself it's like it's fucking stupid, you know? Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise. Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either. She has a point. She has a point. But can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything wrong. What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. See, and that's the thing I love too. Is like, you know, the kid's like, yeah, fuck all the adults, kill them all. And then it's like, oh, well now I need ice cream. Oh, I need this, I need that. I don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need an adult. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Th this is bad. Monica's mad. Yeah, she's the It's going leader. to be all right, Monica. Please, don't get upset. It's all going according to plan. That's right. If Monica says it, then white is black. Cats are dogs and, um... What else? Oh, please. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? How dare you make Monica mad? That's the last straw. As the leader, I'm gonna hunt you down. I'm right in front of you, kid. Bring it. Hunt? Dukes up, motherfucker. Let us play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> a godly game. <laughs> it was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Demon... Demon hunting. Ta-da! Demon hunting! Sounds pretty weak, Sauce Kids. Demon hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the Warriors of Hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, that sounds super fun! And our very own Monica came up with it! See, Monica? Ah. We're going to play our special game! No need to be upset now, right? Let's see how this is gonna go. I love how Nagito was like... You know, hey, don't let him see the gun. You know, they'll kill you, or whatever. But now they're, like, set to kill me anyways. Hmm. You know? Those are little brats. Yes, so exciting! Let's do it! Come on, hurry up and let's do it! Do I get to kill kids in this game? Question mark? No. By target, you mean... You. Hurry up and prepare the device. Oh. What is this? This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. 
Fucking A, Nagito. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Ah, <sighs> fuck. It's literally a bomb. Boom. God damn it, Nagito. Okay then. Now we're ready. Yeah, because now it's stacked against her. Oh, fuck that, dude. Oh, it makes All me so right. mad. Let's go hunting. It's like, yeah, we're going to take you down. But hey, we, we stacked the deck against you to make it even easier wait, on wait, us. Wait, hold on. This is a break, isn't it? You're just kidding around. You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. She's not an adult. She's, she, I mean... Okay, how how are we talking to be adult here? 16? 18? 20? She's like probably 16. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. Kamaru. Is that how you say her name again? Kamaru? She's probably 16. Maybe. If you throw me into that town, I just get killed immediately. I mean, that's no fun, right? Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I had this gun. Oh. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. Oh, he's... Covering for me. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Hmm? Advice from earlier? Okay, However, said, shut the fuck even up. Even after up you gun. meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Uh. Hey, no talking without the leader's permission. You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut. <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it. Why? Aito's totally playing these fucking kids. He's just, he's buying his time. I'm very curious on this. What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You're too funny. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt. We play the games because they're fun. Duh. See, this this is where it'd be different. If, if I was in, this, in these shoes, I'd be like, looks like I'm killing five kids right now. <laughs> Like, we ain't playing this fucking game. I'll show you a fucking game. That's the only reason. Part of the kids. You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. As soon as I start beating their faces in, I'm like, this is fun smiles <laughs> and then they won't be having fun <laughs> searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults children are untainted by such futility but to okay. tell you the truth i would rather not play this game there is still much work to be done to build our paradise yet here we are playing games why why don't you stop we cannot do that this is monica's game she said she wants it done, so it will be done. It's kind of funny, though. Again, like, what makes her so special? Is, like, they bow to her. You know, they don't they call her the leader. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. But they did say she's the one that actually controls the Monokumas, technically, right? They, the rest of them don't really. They're just part of the group, but she's ultimately the real one that controls the Monokumas. So I can see where they fear her that way. And I love 
what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. Probably all over her dick right now. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. I'll have to bake you some delicious cookies later as thanks. Y yeah, thank you. <laughs> so weird. That reminds me, I got crumble cookies. Oh, that's so not fair. I want to eat Monica's cookies too. Hey, Monica, what about me, the leader? Wait, how can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're, you're not normal. Hmm, of course an adult sees this as abnormal. But who cares what adults say? I mean... Also, Kamara Nayagi, in your current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. What? You are not on a path. You were falling into an abyss, the darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? What do you mean? She means this! But also it's like, fucking all adults were kids once, you dumb fucks. So we know how kids think. We are saying they don't want to do homework, they don't want to go to school. I want to play. Like, uh, uh. <laughs> it's like another execution video. What? Uh, it is. What the fuck? <laughs> Luckily, she got the, uh, Parachute on. Wait, where the fuck are we? In like an airship or something? We were. Would not have thought of that. A child's ears are wonderful, wonderful ears. Ah. A child's eyes are adorable eyes. A child's mouth is a great big mouth. Why is it so big to gobble, gobble up the demons? demons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game on. Let's say this particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. A game is different than reality, so that means even I can actually win. My, my! It's <laughs> rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. <laughs> that don't matter! At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me, the leader! Now, now, it doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys want to get a cola or something? I almost feel like this this kid here will end up on our side kind of thing. Like, he'll be a good guy. But then again, I kind of feel like that won't be the case. He's just going to be full psycho later. Ooh, a soda sounds great. Someone go buy some. Leader's orders. <laughs> and just like that. The pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist. With your lack of distinct characteristics. So common, so dull, so boring. Prologue. Warriors of Hope. continue this is weird i think it's an interesting setup but it is definitely weird so far um so we're gonna save it here
Um, yeah, so it's chapter one now. Crying for love and hell. Hmm. So I'm ca I'm gonna kind of assume basically the chapters are gonna be like the kids finding like hunting me down, finding me, and trying to kill me and stuff. But uh, but yeah. So we're uh, YouTube. We're gonna stop it right there for now. Uh, I know this was a shorter episode, but I just want to do the prologue, get that done. Obviously, gonna check the audio quality and stuff like that. Make sure things sounded good. Uh, and we'll be back next week with the next part. I don't know if again if we're gonna do like the full chapter or if we're gonna have it like split up in two parts. I'll just see when I record it how long it is and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, we'll see it then. Uh, be sure to. You know, like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell notification. Know when I post videos. I'm posting, of course, this exclusive playthrough on YouTube, and also I post my Twitch VOD videos. And I've been playing a lot of Sonic games. And in fact, I've got Sonic uh, Forces, Sonic Mania coming up, and then Sonic 06 after that. So, be on the lookout for that. So, until next time, take care, YouTube.